Hi, I'm Rich Torrey, and welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. Easy peasy, right? I thought today I would change up our regular format and give you three quick tips to help you level up your hand drawing ability. Hands are on that list of hardest things to draw and least favorite things to practice. That's why I think it's best to do the conquering of hands and other tough subjects in bite-sized lessons. That said, I want to give you two reasons to work on drawing hands. First, if you have trouble drawing hands, there's a chance it's leading you to draw characters and poses that either hide hands altogether or in poses that don't require that character to be doing anything with their hands. You may not even be aware of it. Most importantly, you never want to get into the mindset where you shy away from drawing things simply because you find them difficult. I want you to become a cartoon warrior. Embrace and attack those things you have trouble with. If you do, I promise you, you will conquer them. That mindset truly is the secret to becoming an excellent cartoonist. Okay, so before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw our quick tips on drawing hands. Tip number one. So as we've already said, drawing hands is hard enough as it is. Don't make it harder by thinking you have to position the hand you're drawing or your paper in a certain way. We all process an image we're trying to draw differently. When it comes to drawing hands, some people will find it easier to draw it with the fingers facing upwards. Some will prefer drawing it with them facing down. And some will feel more comfortable with the hand sideways. And this will change depending on the specific pose of the hand. It's very important for you to understand that there is no right or wrong way to turn your paper when it comes to drawing hands. It's what works best for you. The bottom line is hands are hard, make drawing them as easy as possible. All right, so here's tip number two. This one involves something called iteration and analyzation. On a page, start by drawing a hand, preferably one you're looking to improve on. Don't get all wigged out that it has to be perfect. Just draw it. When you finish, take a moment to analyze it. Now draw it again, right next to the first one, using whatever you've learned from observing that first one. Something you want to do to draw it maybe a little better. Then stop and analyze that second one, comparing it to the first. Draw a third next to the second. Analyze all three and use it to draw a fourth. Analyze again and if you want, go back and tweak things you've started to see in the collection that needs work. Then do a fifth. Analyze, compare, contrast with the others. Keep doing this until you've done 20 of the exact same hands. Now you could just go through the motions and draw it 20 times, but if you want to add rocket fuel to your improvement, it's essential that you add the analyzation part. What you're doing is stimulating the intuitive part of your brain by using the analytical part of your brain and it's going to lock it into your muscle memory. Okay, one last thing about using iteration and analyzation. It's not just good for hands, it's good for everything you want to improve on. I promise you it works. All right, so that brings us to the hand drawing tip number three. Now in the last tip, we did a little intensive hand practice, which as I said, will add rocket fuel to your improvement. But let's face it, doing nothing but iteration and analyzation would tend to get somewhat tedious after a while. As an alternative, what I try to do with all of my YouTube lessons is to pick out and draw characters with at least one hand in a challenging pose or gesture. By doing this, it provides a little motivation to practice a difficult hand that one might not otherwise attempt, simply because it's part of a fun character drawing. Many of these challenging hand poses adds significantly to a character's expression, so I encourage you to try this. The next character you feel like drawing, incorporate a challenging hand pose or gesture. I think you'll find it adds to the drawing, it helps make drawing it more fun, and it will definitely help you to improve your hand drawing ability. Okay, so there are our three quick hand tips. Give them a try. Remember the trick is to break things up, make these challenges bite-sized, and most importantly, to develop that cartoon warrior mentality. Embrace and attack those things you have trouble with. If you do, I promise you, you will conquer them. That mindset is the secret to becoming an excellent cartoonist. So I'd love to see the results of you trying these hand drawing tips. Take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I sincerely hope that you got something out of our quick hand drawing tips. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. And until next time, keep drawing my friends.